people ask me all the time, how does it feel? I'm like, it still feels unreal. Like sometimes I just come downstairs and I'm looking around and I'm like, wow, this like is my home, <laughs> my home. So feels good. Been here for two years, still super excited. I still get butterflies. I still thank God when I leave and I thank him when I pull up. I've done it every day. It's the best thing ever happened to me. It's still really good to pull up to the house and just look at it and be like, this is like something that I actually built and something that I can pass down to the girls. It feels great to have a home of my own. It is something that I wanted for a long time. It's a safe place for my kids. We can be ourselves. I take pride in it. I want everybody to treat it. That's why I tell my kids, you know how you want your house? Yeah. Because it's our home forever. Because I'm not moving. It's a beautiful thing. Been able to um, provide something and some stability to your kids. Everything is gonna work out just fine. They like everything about the house. They love being outside, just having the yard. They're always in the backyard, running around, playing. It's so peaceful and so quiet over here and the neighbors are so nice. I mean, so nice. I was always dangling at the, the mic of some guy who owns three or four homes. I lived in that park for 14 years. You know how much money I gave them people for 14 years? Security, safety, um, it feels good. Right now, in this moment, it feels good. Having that security of like, I have my own home, I have a mortgage, I don't have to rent, I don't have to depend on, you know, somebody else to make sure that I have a place to stay. So that was really a good securement in this last year with this pandemic. I have our first family vacation scheduled for October. So I'm super excited about that. And that's because I'm able to save. Because I'm able to save. Having women build the house definitely shows that we can do, you know, just as much as men, if not more. Women are equally um, strong. Um, that's what women built told me taught me and, you know, showed it to me. <laughs> hey, we got this. You know, we, we got it and we did it. We can do anything. Women power. <laughs> it was very empower, empowerment for me, uh, being a woman myself and a single woman at that. Um, and it just gave me a different outlook that, you know, women, we can do the same thing men can do, so. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate every last person that nailed a nail, painted, wasn't able to come, but um, contributed funds, um, whatever way that they helped in whatever capacity, thank you. Thank you again, my girls. Thank you. To the women that actually built on this home, thank you, like I have still, the plaque hung up in my laundry room from everybody that signed that built on the house is still hanging up in my laundry room. And when I wash the clothes, I still look at it. It really makes my heart full that these women took time out of their busy lives and their busy days to help somebody that they don't even know. Thank you guys. My dream came true in the pandemic. It gave me some power, you know, within myself to know that I can do, I can do this, you know. So, made me stronger. The quote, a hand up and not a hand out, stick out the most because that's what I needed and that's what I got. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> it feels like we were valued and it feels that we belong. It makes me feel human being. <laughs>